welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have my towel back on. I have my bathrobe on and that's because today I will be doing a video about Korean beauty products. Korean skincare products, let's say it right. We all know that Korean people and a lot of Asian people have super duper awesome skin. It's a skin to be jealous of and they use a lot of things for their skin. So what I'm going to do, I teamed up with Yes Style to show you top Korean beauty products that are very popular. Um, they have amazing reviews and that's what I'm going to do on my face. Um, I already applied it by the way I filmed the video. I just made my intro afterwards. Um, yeah, we're going to remove the makeup. We're going to do sheet masks. We're going to do everything when it comes to skin. So if you want to see um, what these products are and my opinion, then please keep on watching. Alrighty, so my makeup is removed. I used a cleanser, a foam cleanser, and this is my face right now. Let's first take... Step three is exfoliating the skin, and I've been hearing a lot of things about exfoliating and using scrubs that it's not that good for your skin, for your face, because it's too harsh. So the last couple of weeks, I did not exfoliate my skin, and to be honest, I didn't see a difference in my face. Um, still have those blackheads, still have my pores. So what I have is um, these real Saika, I don't even know how to pronounce that. These are called exfoliating pads and they are especially made for people with sensitive skin and they come in a jar and there are 90 pads in it. Uh, I think you're supposed to use this daily. I'm not sure actually. Yes, they're so sensitive and so soft that you can use it daily. So I'm just gonna take one out of this jar. They're extremely thin, so you gotta be careful. They are soaked with product. And I don't think the camera is picking up, but it has texture. So I think that is what they mean with uh, exfoliation. And I'm just gonna, ooh, that feels good. Yeah, I like that. Oh, okay, so that's a good thing by using this. I thought my face was completely clean, that I didn't have any makeup on my face, but there was still something left. Uh, that's good, because that way you're sure that there is no makeup on your face whatsoever, and it's easy to travel with, because you just have to take this with you when you're done. The product is already in it. I like easy stuff, by the way. It doesn't feel sticky. It's very watery, actually, and not harsh for the skin whatsoever. So that's great. All right, next is step four and five, which are my favorites. It's a toner and an essence, and I've been using a toner and since I can remember, and I've been using an essence since two years now. I think it's something from Asia. I'm not sure, but it is the most important product out of my skincare routine. I'm not kidding. I've been using it for two years now, and. It just, it's, I don't even know how to explain it, but it is so good for your skin. It makes it a lot more tight, it hydrates. I just see a difference um, in how my makeup looks like, how my face looks like by using an essence. And that's why all of those people who have been using this for years are raving about it. It is true. But let's first start with the toner. And the one I have is by Ayumi. It's a vitamin hyaluronic acid finalizing toner. It contains a 45% hyaluronic. That's a good thing. So it's really gonna brighten and 
finalized my skin. So what I'm going to do, ooh, okay, so the first thing that I noticed is that it's a pretty thick consistency. Normally my toner, it's very watery, it looks like water, it's see-through, but this one has kind of a yellowish tone and it's pretty thick. I'm gonna apply it on a cotton pad maybe. Do you see that? Like I really have to press onto the bottle. Ooh, that just slides on my face. And again, no smell whatsoever. I love that. No smell, no perfume, no alcohol. I think alcohol is the worst thing you can use for your face because it's gonna make your face a lot more dry. It's just, it's not good. So I love products without alcohol. I think everything I use for my face doesn't have alcohol. I do like to drink alcohol though which is also not good for your skin, but hey, still gotta live, right? And now my face is really clean because there is nothing on my cotton pad. All right, so the big difference uh, between my toner and this one is that it's kind of sticky. It has a thicker consistency, you can really feel that on your skin because it's very, it's kind of a rich consistency. I think we can call it that. My favorite, the essence. This one is by Nisha. It's the, <clears throat> sorry. it's the first treatment essence and it's an intense moisturizing one and compared to the toner, this is pretty watery. Um, I know face treatments to be very watery. Um, I have read so many good things about this one and everyone is raving about it. Only thing that I kind of do not like about it is because it's pretty pricey. It's uh, 30 euros. That's not the cheapest product, but hey, if it works, it works. So what I'm going to do is the same as what I do with my essence. It's just, I'm just going to put it on my hand, a few drops, I think four or five drops, and then I'm just going to pat it into my skin. And I know this looks weird, but I've been told that this is the way to apply an essence and I like it. So that's what I do. And I also apply everything that is left on my hand to my neck. Just gonna add a little bit on the forehead because I feel like there's no product up here. And we're done. That feels nice. So yeah, guys, um, of course, everyone has their own skincare routine, but please try and use an essence. Just go to a store, ask for a sample where you can use it for like a week and see how your skin looks like every morning. I use it once a day, by the way. I don't use it at night just because I don't feel like using it. It doesn't do anything for me. I use it in the morning to give me like a fresh face before I'm gonna apply my makeup. And even if I'm not wearing makeup, I use it, but go to a store, ask for a sample and use it for seven days. I promise you, you will see a difference. Try it out, I'm not lying. So far, it's a good. All right, so step six and seven, um, that's kind of confusing to me. I've been reading about Korean 10 step skincare routine a lot online and a lot of people say that I have to use my serum first and then a hydrating sheet mask. And some people say that I have to do the sheet mask first and then the serum. Um, to be honest, if it was up to me, I would not use a sheet mask every day. Like, I don't think that's necessary, but for the sake of this video and to make it all complete, like if you would do this every single day or maybe two times a week, I would definitely do it. And what I'm going to do is apply my serum first. This one is also by Ionic. By the way, I don't know if I pronounce it well. And it's the same brand as the toner. So that's a great combination, I think. And this is a powerful, calming, nourishing, and brightening serum. And it's also supposed to help you with your wrinkles. And since I'm turning 31 in two weeks, I don't think I need it. This is just like the toner, a very thick consistency. It's not a thin serum. I'm just gonna put it, it's a bit more thin than the toner you know what's interesting about all these products is that they don't have a smell they smell literally like nothing which is a good thing because it, it they don't contain perfume i believe none of the products contain perfume and alcohol i will figure that out of course i will put it down in the description box but maybe that's the reason why um it doesn't have a smell and it just feels very soft i like that by the way if you see this just a clip that i used to hold my towel in place Right. Also, just like the toner, it's a bit sticky. See that? 
So this is also one of my favorite things to do. It is a sheet mask and this one is also by Claire's. Uh, this is one piece and it's supposed to moisturize and soothe the skin. You have to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. By the way, uh, most of the times when I use sheet masks, oh, are there two or just two pieces? Oh, two pieces, wait. When I use sheet masks, I use it at night and then I just leave it on. Like everything that is left on my face, I just leave it on my face and then I go to bed. That's how I like it the most. All right, my nose is not that big, so. <laughs> It feels good, but this kind of looks weird. Because it's so long. But it's fine. So I'm just gonna relax and then I'll be right back. All right, so it has been about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to remove this. See, there's still a lot of stuff on it. So we'll, oh, like a lot. I'm just gonna pat it into my neck. I don't want to wipe away everything because I think that's a waste of product. <laughs> that's why I always do this before uh, I go to bed and I just sleep with it. But we have a few more steps, so let's get into that. Next product is a very interesting. It's the Snail Repair Eye Cream and I have never used anything with snail in it. I do know that it's supposed to be very good for the skin, especially for darker under eyes and to repair your skin. Uh, it's a very popular product and I'm gonna use it for the first time. And it's a white cream, there's a lot of product on here and we're gonna use this spatula that comes with it. Oh, I like this thing. It feels the same as my finger, that's weird. And yes, I do use a lot of eye cream. Always have, always will. And I know a lot of people will say, that's not necessary, you need to use pea size amount. Well, I don't. I have very dry under eyes. Uh, also my eyelids and inner corners of my eyes are very dry. So I do not only apply my eye cream. I also apply it in the inner corners and on my eyes, just because my eyes need that. Just gotta pat it in with my fingers just because I'm used to do that. All right, it's a lot thinner than the eye cream that I normally use, so I think it's a good eye cream for eye makeup. Oh, and before I forget, the snail cream also is supposed to minimize fine lines, so that's hope. Next we have the moisturizer itself. It's called the Vitamin Tree Water Gel, and it's a clear gel. Looks like this. I'm gonna use the spatula again. And they say that you can also apply this as an overnight mask, which I can imagine because it's a gel and it's water-based, so I like that. And it's supposed to even out my skin tone. Oh, that feels nice, by the way. Very thick. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this very much. I like thick creams. I do not like creams where you apply it and you're like, okay, did I just put something on my face or not? I like it to be thick. And no matter what I use for my face, um, before I'm gonna do my makeup, I always let my skincare sit for actually at least 10 minutes. I always say to people five minutes, but I always, take 10 minutes before I'm gonna do my makeup. And a good thing for me is that I always do my eyes first, so I never have that problem, but it just, it needs to absorb. And I like this. Oh, that feels so good. And of course, it will not be a Korean skincare routine without some moisturizer. This is um, SPF 50, so it's a lot. And it's, the, it's called the Dr. Fida Clinic and it's an ultra light, fast absorbing uh, C sun lotion for everyday protection against harmful UVA. And it's supposed to be lightweight, let's see, because I'm a bit skeptical when it comes to sunscreen, especially with SPF 50. I do use sunscreen, especially when I'm on a holiday, I always use uh, SPF 50, but then I never wear makeup. And then when I put it on my face and I just rub it, it's just white. So let's see. Oh, this one doesn't have that. They were not lying, it's like, wait. Oh, and it's the first cream that has some sort of smell. I have so much product on my face right now. I'm not gonna do makeup whatsoever today because it's, 
it's a lot of tea bags. Okay, so that is a good thing about the sunscreen. It doesn't leave a white cast. So I think you will also be able to apply your makeup on top of it. And that was just 10 step Korean skincare routine. What do you guys think? My skin feels so freaking good right now. It's insane. There's so much product on it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, these are the top Korean products that I use. So um, they supposed to be very, very good. They have a lot of good reviews. But let's be honest, um, I'm not gonna do this every time. I'm not gonna use 10 products every single day and to be honest i don't think it's necessary especially when it comes to face mask i would do that like two to three times a week um take a moisturizer that has already spf 50 in it so like moisturizer and spf and oh, the other steps i will be doing because i'm already doing that i am a skincare junkie i take very good care of my skin i can say that because i'm not lying one of my favorite products are the essence which is gonna make your face you know more tight i do like the toner that is pretty and oh let's not forget these pads this is such an interesting product i thought that i removed my makeup but there was still makeup on my face as you could see and this is so cool that it's just gonna remove every dirt that is still on my face and what i forgot to tell you about this one is that it also exfoliates your skin because it has texture on the cotton pad so that's what i like and overall i think these products are amazing and uh, my skin does not feel irritated whatsoever i actually don't have a smell except for this one uh the sunscreen so yeah and that was my video about korean beauty products there are a few products that i will definitely use every single day um first is this one i like this one very very much um the pads of course and the toner that's what i like and i'm gonna switch my eye cream i'm gonna use the snail one because i want to see how it looks with my uh, makeup um, i like the way it looks right now because it's very glow glowing meaning that it's very hydrating and very gel based which i like and of course i'm going to use the cleansing balm because we need to take up our makeup and especially waterproof makeup but to me uh, i'm never going to rub into my eyes just because i got my eyes lasered so i just use a q-tip uh, to remove everything that is still in my eyes and yeah so yeah that was the video i am planning on doing like a three to four weeks update on my instagram to tell you what i think about these products after a few weeks because now i just applied it on my face and um it feels good but we don't know how my skin will react and uh how it will look after a few weeks so if you do not follow me on instagram it's just my name and my last name i will put it somewhere on the screen so you can just scan it and then you're uh following me if you want to and yeah I like it. I love making this video and I think I have some very interesting products that I will be including to my skincare routine. I will be doing sheet mask more often by the way. It felt so good and to be honest most of the time I forget so I'm like two three times a week but no. That's what I want to do but that's not what I really do because I just forget. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know your skincare routine. Uh, do you know these products? Uh, let me know your reviews on it, please, because then I don't have to wait for weeks. Um, please tell me what you use for skincare. Are you familiar with Korean beauty products? And if you have tips to make your skin as smooth as possible, hit me up. I wanna thank you so much for watching it. I will talk to you guys in my next video.